What if you can cut your logo ideation time in half? It sounds ambitious, I know, but that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. I wanna to design a logo for a sports theme burger joint, and in doing so, I'm going to show you how to combine the speed of AI with the precision of our professional design tools. We'll be using Envato Graphics Gen for AI-assisted logo concepting, and then Adobe Illustrator for refinement and personal touch. Whether you're a brand designer looking to speed up your workflow or a freelancer looking to deliver more value to your clients, this tutorial will show you how to create a polished logo concept in under 20 minutes? Let's do it. So why even consider using AI in your logo design process? Well, there are three major benefits. First, obviously, the speed. AI tools like Graphigen can generate logo concepts from your original idea in seconds compared to the hours it might take to manually sketch and refine your ideas. Second, the inspiration. Sometimes you hit a creative block. Trust me, I know, we all do. AI can throw out multiple combinations and ideas that you might not have expected, jumpstarting your creative process. And third, the variations. If you wanna see 10 different approaches to your original idea, AI can give you those variations instantly. Now let's be very, very clear about something. Traditional Illustrator-only workflows aren't going anywhere. They're proven, reliable, and give you creative control. At the same time, they are slower and require more manual sketching upfront. While that's not necessarily a bad thing, sometimes you wanna achieve more within that time frame, and AI can serve as a quick starting point. Let's get into Graphics Gen and start generating some of our ideas. When you first open Graphics Gen, you'll see a clean, straightforward interface. As you can see here, we have a lot of styles loaded in as references. You can also sort them by these categories here. If there isn't a vector style that will work for your idea, you do have the option to use the style creator, which will study any reference you drop in and create a style for you to use as a reference. Toward the bottom down here is our prompt box where all the magic happens, of course. When prompting, the more context you give, the better your results. Use style descriptors and industry context. Instead of just typing something generic like logo, try something more specific like modern tech logo or minimalist branding mark as additions to your general idea. For my client's sports themed burger restaurant, I'm going to try out this prompt. In the prompt box, you'll find additional options like dimensions and toggling a transparent background. Make sure you have your preferences selected and click generate. Look at that, we have a few different concepts to work with and that took under 30 seconds. Now we can evaluate these and choose the best one to refine. Not all AI outputs are going to be usable, so we have to know what to look for. There are three main criteria that I use. Number one is scalability. Does this logo work in its simplest form? If I strip away all of the details, does this still communicate? Number two, versatility. Does this logo work both in black and white and color? Professional logos do need to work in multiple contexts. Number three is uniqueness. Are we avoiding overused shapes and concepts? We don't want a logo that looks like 50 other logos in our client's industry, but that is also something that you can adjust later in Illustrator. Remember, this is not our final product. I think this one here has the most potential of our options. To export, select your chosen logo and hit the export button. You'll wanna choose SVG format if it's available since that's already a vector, but if not, we can go ahead and grab the highest resolution PNG and we can trace it in Illustrator. And now we're ready to refine this concept. All right, now that we're in Illustrator, let's add our own touch. I like to work with the icon first, so let's adjust our color and shapes. First, I wanna simplify our palette and make sure it aligns with the brand's color palette. Simplifying the colors will definitely help with the versatility that I mentioned earlier. There may also be some shapes here you wanna to adjust to better align with your vision. Because we have a vector, each individual part of this image can be scaled, rotated, whatever you need. Next, I'll work on our typography. If your AI logo included text, there is a good chance that the font choice isn't optimal. Mine doesn't have text, but of course, we're going to have to add the brand name. When coming up with my original concept, I did keep everything about the brand in mind, including the audience and the tone of our brand and all of those things. And so for my typeface, I'm going to choose something that is younger on the cooler side and kind of fits our theme. And I'm going to adjust our typeface and stylize it in a way that fits with our icon, but also adds to the playful element or tone, like I mentioned, of a sports-themed burger restaurant. 
For me, that includes curving the type and adding some depth. For you, that may be something totally different, but this is where your professional technique comes into play. I like where we are now, so let's test it on some mock-ups that are relevant to our client's industry and see how things are looking. In the long run, you'll want your client to get the most use out of their logo, so you can test your versatility now. Your logo needs to work everywhere from a tiny social media avatar to a massive trade show banner. If you run into any issues or find that you need a different version of your logo for it to work, consider pitching a logo suite. This way, your client can feel confident in each concept that you present. This looks great. I can definitely pitch this as a concept option. Okay, now let's talk about exporting properly. This is where a lot of people mess up, so pay attention. For web use, you want to export as an SVG. This gives you a scalable vector that looks crisp at any size digitally. And then for print, you'll want to export as an EPS or PDF. These formats preserve all of your vector information and work well with professional printing equipment so that what you print looks as close as possible to what you saw on screen. I always deliver multiple files to clients, that's SVG, EPS, PDF, and high-res PNG images at various sizes. Before we wrap up, let me share some common mistakes I see people make when combining AI and traditional design tools. Mistake number one, and I'm sure we can all agree, relying 100% on AI without any refinement. AI is impressive, but it is not perfect. If you are sending an AI-generated output directly to your client, you are not doing your job as a designer. Always refine. Mistake number two, using too many effects and gradients. This can be tempting because AI does sometimes generate these, but they're generally just a bad idea. Effects don't scale very well, so keep it as simple as possible. Mistake number three is ignoring brand consistency. Your logo has to work well across dozens of applications and remain on brand in every situation. So if you design your logo with only one context in mind, you are definitely setting yourself up for problems sometime later down the line. And mistake number four would be skipping the manual cleanup of your vectors. All of those messy anchor points and uneven curves, they may not be obvious at first, but they might cause problems for someone else if they do have to adjust your logo or make any manual adjustments. So do the cleanup up front. Graphics Gen speeds up the ideation phase dramatically. What once took hours of sketching can now happen in minutes and bringing it into Illustrator can ensure that polish and professional touch that your clients expect. Simple workflow, right? Generate with AI, evaluate critically, refine an Illustrator and test thoroughly. The more you practice this hybrid approach, the faster and more efficient you will become. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you subscribe for more AI and traditional design workflow tutorials. And Vital subscribers have access to a full AI suite where you can generate video, music, images, and more. So be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.